joined in the media center by our preliminary number one qualifier in pro stock motorcycle, Matt Smith, who had a 6.866 at 195.39 miles per hour in the lone qualifying session of the day. Obviously not knowing what the weather's going to do the rest of the weekend, how important was that first run for you? Uh, it was good to get the first run down. Um, you know, we were low here last year when we come here. I think we went 82 on Saturday, but um, all in all, this this victory bike that we've got right now is has been pretty hateful the last four or five races since we pulled it out at Charlotte. Um, all the people that helped me with elite performance, Mark Stock said, Lucas Oil. I mean, I just can't ask for a better group of people that's helping me. And we we still need a major sponsor, but hopefully somebody will step up and allow us to run the rest of the year. Obviously, having the event win already under your belt this season, I mean, how strongly do you feel about the fact that you're putting out there every weekend? Yeah, I mean, we have a top three bike every weekend, day in, day out. You know, it's just I've got to do my job. You know, when, when I messed up at Atlanta, we had a fast bike, and I red lit. I red lit against Andrew in the semifinals up there. We'd been in the finals again so at Virginia. So I've just got to do my job, be focused, and uh, the bike's doing its job. And... When we've got a new body coming. Uh, we're supposed to have it before, after this race, and if we get that, um, we might really hurt some feelings with that. How difficult is it when the weather is so different from when you pull into the lanes to when you pull up to the starting line? You know, I look back at last year, and the weather conditions were pretty close to the same. You know, we just didn't have that big a chance of rain, but still a lot of water in the air and temperature, bra everything was pretty close, and I loaded the same map in, and. You know, we were a little conservative. The track was better than I thought. Um, we were a little slow in 60 foot, but we were number one at eighth mile ET and speed. And then the bike, the crosswind kind of got me and shoved me to the wall there. That's why we didn't run the speed we should have. But all in all, I mean, same stuff as last year here. And we've always ran good here at Norwalk. You led last year, right? On Friday, didn't you leave? I, I, I was number one every pass here on Friday and Saturday qualifying okay. and went to the finals here. So it's always been a good track for me. If you remember, this is where me and my dad won uh, the race together. Right. So um, it's always been a good track. So the new body work, you're getting that uh, pretty quick, huh? I'm supposed to. Um, six weeks was Thursday, and eight weeks is the deadline. Uh, so that's uh, in two weeks. So uh, I'm supposed to have a new EBR body work that the uh -huh. Rana's got. And uh, like I said, uh, if we get that and it picks up like it's, everybody says it's going to be, uh, we we should really have a contention for the championship. Okay. Did you mention uh, Lee's performance just a minute ago? Yeah, Elite Performance has been helping us for the last three years. You know, it's just we developed that new motor last year with Victory, and uh, it's just we've just kind of been trying to get all the little bugs worked out, but I think we're showing its potential, and uh, it's pretty strong. Oh, that's good. I see a little conflict in, in a statement you've made. You, you initially talked about we need the sponsorship to continue, but yet you've got a new bike coming. It, it, is there a is there a dateline that if you don't have the new sponsorship, it could end your year this year? It's potentially. Um, I've got some of our associate sponsors are stepping up, and they're funding me to get to the races and, and doing that. Um, with the same motor's been the bike since Charlotte. Since I pulled it out of Charlotte, <coughs> I've not taken the motor out of the bike. Um, we've ran the same motor at Charlotte, Atlanta, Chicago, Virginia, and here. Um, it's coming out after this race, and we'll go through it and get it ready for the West Coast. But, you know, that's been the biggest factor for me to be able to run right now uh, with no sponsorship is we're not hurting anything. And, you know, when you don't have to work on stuff, you know, it's just it's, it's nice. And uh, hopefully somebody's going to step up. Uh, like I said, Elite Performance, they bought the body work for me, the new body work from, from Hector Nam. So I didn't have to spend any money there. Uh, I've got the bike already there. It's a, a used bike that I've already ran. Um, so we're just going to put the body work on and, and see what happens. Okay. Thanks for the explanation. Yep. No problem. Thank you, Matt. Congrats. Thank you. All right. Yeah.